Shook it up. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, 16th of January. We're halfway through January and we have a new toy. Explain what this is, Lex. I think that covers it. This is a hypervolt massage gun. Hashtag no sex toy. It's slightly pornographic, but... No, I'm sorry. We've just been massaging each other's butts. Literally. Literally. With this end here. So it comes with all these different attachments. Why is that gone white? Oh, it's from uh, Bailey. Oh yeah, Lex tried to massage the Bailster, but she wasn't really into it. Pretty miserable rainy day here in Shropshire, which is actually quite rare. Not walking them two because I don't want to get them wet. Want to have coffee? Go to the gym. I feel like your soul. Oh. Lex, oh. you don't have a soul. Oh, I don't have a soul, but if I had one, I'd be living in it now. Oh. <laughs> We're here to take over the world. Take us to your leader. Make coffee more amazing. Double cream. Just 10 grams, even less, if you want, in your coffee. Mix it. Amazing. And Lex has shown me. How good is that head tattoo? I knew you were going to go for a head tattoo. Look at it. Look at Should it. Should Lex get a head tattoo? No. David Beckham has head tattoos. Uh, he also has just an arm of clouds. It's not got off David Beckham's tattoo. <laughs> I only noticed that the other day. Double cream in my coffee. I'm putting about 10 grams. That is gonna be my pre-workout. I trained glutes the other day, so I might do hamstrings, mm, shoulders, some chest, because Lex is making me do chest. Why am I doing chest, Lex? So you don't have an imbalance in your body, you dingbat. <laughs> I used to train chest properly, but then I got my boobs done and it didn't feel comfortable. Nothing to do with it actually being that you shouldn't do it, it just didn't feel comfortable. And then before, when I did train chest, I actually built pec muscles quite easily, which I didn't personally like. <laughs> oh, oh, I just developed pecs so too easily. I did. Where well, is me? Oh, the pain. So, any guys watching? I did have proper pec muscles when you met me, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I don't. I don't. You're also called Dave. <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping with the comments about me being a pansexual. Oh, dear. You're actually laughing at yourself because oh. you used to go out with a guy called Dave. Yeah, there's a good looking bloke. <laughs> so when I was a good looking bloke, I used to build pec muscle quite easily, and I had kind of like striations on my chest, which I didn't like. So I kind of number one stopped because. It was uncomfortable and number two because i didn't want to build pec muscles but as i said for a well-rounded balanced physique you should be training everything so last week i accidentally trained chest because i thought i was training shoulders but it was on a, a, a decline decline or incline what what's the bench when when you do chest is it incline or decline uh, squat rack <laughs> you're very unhelpful yeah, you get what you pay for, Lainey. I'm not paying you anything. You exactly! <laughs> anyway, I was on the bench and it was actually engaging my chest and not my shoulders and I didn't realise till the next day when I was sore on my chest. No, probably flat. Incline, take shoulders out a bit before. No, mm -hmm. hang on. No, you went on the wrong machine. Yeah, but all, I thought it was your shoulder press. Shoulders and yeah. Incline, press. Yeah, incline, not decline. Yeah. Chubby! Why really decline? Incline's like that. Yeah, but. What's the difference between that and that? Decline sounds like it's like declining. You're thinking about an airplane chair, aren't you? Yeah. No. <laughs> so, this is proof that I don't I'm know stupid. everything. <laughs> I'm not stupid. No, I can't really drink it, I'll pick you with the wrong <laughs> Sometimes we don't know the words for stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna have my coffee now with my cream, which is amazing. Just try one, add it in. About 4.8 grams of fat, 10 grams of double cream. This is pretty standard morning in the Griffin household. Lex in the kitchen putting on pants. Not really into them at all. Yeah. 
those, Converse. Oh, yeah. That's sick. You look like you stole them from a six year old girl. Girl? Six year old boy? No, definitely girl. The more you hate, the more I hate pants. You can't hear too many comfy pants. Ooh, yeah. They comfy look like pajamas. Pants. Yeah. Are they pajamas? No, they're comfy pants. They're pajamas. But they'd be cool in the summer. They do look comfy, but they look like pajamas. What do you think, girls? Would you like Dad's pants? There's windows just there, so the neighbours are probably having a great old look at Alexa's legs. So I've had my pre-workout coffee. I'm now in the car just about to leave for the gym. I'm going to go and do, as I said, hamstrings, shoulders, chest, maybe some biceps. I'm going fasted, so when I get back, I'll make Lex and I some breakfast. The past few days, I've just been really busy. I've had meetings and dentists and a few different things going on. So I was doing kind of fast, convenient meals, which meant I overlooked veggies and my micronutrients. So I was hitting my macros, not my micros. And last night I was like in physical pain. My stomach was all bloated and sore and I very rarely get bloated. And it's probably because I do actually follow quite a balanced diet. I take in some treats, but I also usually take in fruit, veg, all those good things. So because I'd overlooked taking in my fruit and veg, yeah, I'd, I was in pain. I was like really bloated, really gassy which was super pleasant for Lex as well and yeah so today I have my mission is to take in more fruit and veg and just be a little bit more healthy a bit more conscious of what I'm taking in to hit my macros as opposed to just being completely flexible so it's all well and good saying you can look a certain way if you take in certain macronutrients and hitting certain calories but if you're not taking in the right kind of stuff you're going to feel crappy and like last night I just felt really crappy and even now my weight is up and I'm just feeling not the best. So we want to get back to a healthier lifestyle and um, I've been looking at how I can change up my sleeping pattern because I haven't been sleeping very well. Obviously I had a stressful couple of months and that's obviously played its part in me in every way not just physically but mentally and that is where I've kind of incorporated a new nighttime routine in, which I will also take you through later. Today, concentrating on rest recuperation, getting your micronutrients in, and I'm also going to take you through some of my favourite snacks. Now, I don't like the whole concept of good and bad foods. I've always said that to you. Yes, getting your micronutrients in is so important, and we can get that in throughout our meals in the day. But when you're snacking on the go, things like that, you're a busy mom, you're a busy person who may not have the time to be making wholesome, nutritious snacks all the time. It's okay then to have the balance of having quick and convenient snacks. And I am the ultimate snacker. So when I'm out and about, I'll throw a protein bar in my handbag or something like that. But I'm gonna take you through some of my favorite things that I snack on, because I think that is a very important and realistic part of people's day routine so on to the gym we go I've gone on a tangent but I just wanted to take you through everything that's going on in this video
from the gym and ready for breakfast. So I made Lex some poached eggs and bacon. And as I watched him eating his, I decided didn't want eggs and bacon, I wanted something a little bit sweeter. So I'm going back to my oats, but I wanted to get in some micronutrients, so this is what I did. So we have my cakey oats, which has some egg whites, and instead of protein powder, I've actually added in some PB2, because I'm making these peanut butter and jelly oats. So I just microwaved some frozen berries, which are a great source of fiber, and you get lots of micronutrients in there. And then I've got some natural peanut butter on top, I'm going to enjoy this now because we've got our micros, we've got some protein and we have obviously carbs and fats. So breakfast done, it's the afternoon now and I'm getting on with work, answering emails etc and making up some nice little recipes for myself from the go because as I said, I'm a snack monster. I love my snacks, I love my little things in between meals because I tend to just have two or three really big meals a day so in between I just grab and go. So these are probably my favourite snacks go-to, easy to eat, easy to bring with me if I need to, and just handy. And that's what we're looking for, handy snacks that help you boost your protein, hit your macros, keep you satiated throughout the day. So these lovely ones, um, you can pick them up in most supermarkets. You'll get a variety of different ones from the different supermarkets, but they are a pea-based product and they're like a savory snack. A chip or a crisp or whatever you want to call it just a nice little snack again handbag friendly so you can just throw it in your handbag and eat it on the go and the macros are really good only 2.9 grams of fat and 10 grams of carbs so again a handy one just to bring on the go i get these chicken fillets from muscle food they're pre-wrapped they come, they come in a variety of different flavours, you usually get 10 in a pack. And again, I will throw them in my handbag when going out, um, but when I'm around the house, they're just an easy little snackable treat, and I do like my chicken. It's just good if you don't have time to be prepping all your food. Let's not forget about our fruit. I like to snack on strawberries and berries. I love a pink lady apple. Pink lady apples, don't know why, favourite. And if you want to boost your fat, you could Chop them up, dip them in a little bit of almond butter, a lovely snack. You can just put them into some Tupperware for in work. Bananas, look, they come with their own self-packaging. Perfect pre-workout. You've got potassium in there as well, which is good for muscle cramping. There are a variety of high protein yogurts on the market. I like these Nestle Kvarg ones. They come in a variety of different flavors. You've got vanilla, um, you've got the chocolate chip, coconut lex likes the raspberry one and these are high in protein low in carb zero fat and that is the joy of them they're pretty much a protein snack and um, you will get varieties of these in all the supermarkets you'll also see the skyer yogurts which are similar the main thing to look out for with your low fat high protein yogurts is the sugar content these are good because they are only five grams of carbs or 4.7 grams of sugar per tub and it's 150 grams so that's really good because you have to be wary of your sugar and carb content when it comes to the little low fat treats because they will substitute in something to make it taste better but these brilliant go-to i tend to add muesli or some rice krispies or something just give it a bit of extra crunch put some chocolate chips on top you got yourself a really nice little snacky dessert sweetness not to overlook your humble protein bar i like these from grenade again grenade have been around for a long time supplying us with snacks on the go and they're just getting better they have launched this which is like a healthy muesli bar it's completely vegan it's like super nutty and really good macros as well so per bar it's 10 grams of fat which is going to give you loads of energy nine grams of carbs and only two grams of sugar in one of these and then there's 10 grams of protein so better than your kind bars which are packed full of sugar so just go into the supermarket check out the labels and check out what actually goes into your healthy snacks because this is my go-to for on the run because it's low in sugar high fat it's going to give me energy when I'm going to the gym or if I'm out and about and I just am craving something sweet it's yum and obviously carb killer bars they come in god knows how many flavors now and they just keep on getting better and 
they can't, I'm sorry, they can't be beaten on flavour. I love the white chocolate one, I also love the cookie dough one. Cookie dough one is probably my favourite. They brought out a limited edition ginger nut flavour for Christmas, but obviously not Christmas anymore, so that one's gone. Hopefully they'll come out with another one soon. And I just realised I have chocolate on my face because I was making my own little snacks and the recipe for it will be up on the Grenade social soon, so just follow Grenade. I made these especially for them using their products. They're little chocolate protein truffles. They're so yummy. And we did eat a lot of them on the day of shooting. And I just decided to make them again because we don't have any kind of healthy snacks in the house that are just homemade. I haven't really been baking a lot lately, but I'm gonna go back into it this week. This evening, I'm probably gonna make some muffins because it's handy to have muffins in the house. For me, you can put them in the freezer and have them for breakfast. I used to when I worked in the lab and I had a half hour commute into work, I'd grab a muffin, eat that in the car on the way into work and I felt like I had something and something substantial in my body on the way into work. Now this is a piece of chocolate. Chocolate is not bad. It is not bad for you. You should not avoid it. The dark chocolates are lower in sugar. So they are the perfect pre-workout snack. I know you're probably thinking, why don't I just take pre-workout? I don't like pre-workout. I don't like taking in kind of a lot of caffeine in that way. If I want caffeine, I want to have a cup of coffee because I want to enjoy it. And I don't like the taste of most pre-workouts. So I will have a coffee and a square of chocolate. They're about 10 grams. These, these are the green and black salted caramel ones and they come individually wrapped. So you won't overindulge, but you might cause you might just eat more than one, but they are yummy. The caffeine in dark chocolate helps keep you focused, helps you through your workout, gives you a bit of a spike in energy. That's my go-to. So I hope you liked my list of my favorite snacks. Now to decide what one I'm gonna have now. As I said earlier, I am going to try and get more greens and more micronutrients into myself today. So for dinner, I have whipped up a healthy dinner. We have samphire, which is the perfect vegetable for with fish. And I fried it off with some chorizo to get some of those healthy fats in and some garlic. We've got some asparagus. We've got a cod loin with pesto and parmesan on top that was oven baked and some butternut squash squaffles. As you can see, I am getting in a lot more fats into my diet, which I'm really enjoying. The update is that I'm really enjoying the higher fat intake and I'm actually finding it quite easy to hit the higher fats now that I've adjusted to a new diet. I'm just looking at taking in extra cream, extra peanut butter and from good healthy sources. It is 10.30 p.m. and it is time to show you my nighttime routine. Past couple of weeks, my sleep has been suffering. I just find it difficult to fall asleep. When I fall asleep, I wake up numerous times during the night. Then in the morning, I can't wake up. And naturally, I am a morning person. I like to get up early and get stuff done. And lately, I'm struggling to get up because I'm just so tired from not getting sufficient amount of sleep. So I'm sleeping in late and it's just throwing off my entire day. It has a knock on effect. And then the next day it's the same thing again. I can't sleep because I'm stressed because I'm not sleeping. So I decided to change up my nighttime routine to get into a more relaxation state of mind. And I put it out there on Instagram. I got loads of suggestions from people about taking magnesium, downloading calm apps and loads of different suggestions. I've come up with my own little routine which seems to be helping before I jump on taking any kind of supplements or anything like that, which I have looked into and definitely I will start taking magnesium and I also might start taking some 5-HTP, which is a natural relaxant for people. So if you suffer with anxiety, things like that, it can really help. I'm now gonna take you through to the bedroom to show you number one in my tip. If you want to have a good night's sleep, you need to have a calm and relaxing environment to fall asleep in. Lex and I have a very bare, minimal bedroom because we don't like having TVs, phones, things like that. I don't have my phone in here. Lex brings his phone to bed, but I feel like if I have my phone in the bedroom, I will 
tend to look at it during the night if I wake up and could get distracted by a text message that's been sent through, something like that. And I don't want that to happen. So I just have very minimal stuff in the room to distract me because you're meant to be coming in here to sleep. So Lex really hates all the pillows going on here on the bed, but this is just what it looks like when it's nice and tidy before it gets all messed up during the night with the sleep monsters. We have nice tidy environment and generally it does actually look like this with that bedside lamps. I have some candles, I have some cuticle oil. Part of my routine is just to put some cuticle oil on, rub it into my hands and it just kind of relaxes me. I've just recently bought some of this deep sleep pillow spray which I put on my pillows and it has like a just really nice scent and it is quite relaxing, so I would recommend that. I just picked it up on Amazon. Lex had previously got a sample of it, I think, in a hotel, so we used that and liked it. Um, that's just for charging my watch, because I do put my watch here, because I use the alarm on my watch. And then, just got some candles that we burn. Just, again, relaxation. And my Kindle because I like to read before I go to bed because it just relaxes my brain. As I said, I don't bring my phone to bed with me. We don't have a TV in here. So prepping your environment and making it super relaxing and inviting is step number one to a good night's sleep. Step number two, I usually take off the makeup and I always take off my makeup. Regar I don't think I've even been drunk enough on a night out that I've come home and not taken off my makeup. So we have a little bathroom in here. I'll take you through what I do. So I just use the micellar water. I'm very basic. And then if my skin is playing up what it should is right now, I use some witch hazel toner, which I've had for donkey's years. And I just use that, cleanse the face. I'm gonna have a quick shower as well, because again, just makes me relaxed. If you want to have a bath, sometimes I have a bath, but tonight I'm just going to have a quick shower. Shower down, make myself feel and smell good so that when I lie down in bed, I don't feel all sweaty and clammy, which sometimes I do, which wakes me up and disturbs my sleep. So out of the shower, I'm just going to put a little bit of moisturiser on as much as I normally would. Just a little bit because I get quite dry skin. My go-to night oil is the Kiehl's. Midnight Recovery Concentrate, and I just drop it on. Just rub that in. And not only does it feel good on your skin, it also smells really good and relaxing. So it's the simple things, like just looking after yourself. Take time, that five, 10 minutes before you go to bed, just to relax and then see if you get a better night's sleep. So, simple things, environment, have a tidy bedroom where you sleep, put on fresh sheets, do things like that, light a candle if you want, put on some meditation if that's what you're into, read a book, relax, try not to have phones and gadgets and things in your bedroom because it's just going to activate your brain in the wrong way. So you're going to find it more difficult to sleep. So just focus on you and relaxation. Number two, look after your body. So having a shower, cleansing. I'm not naked, by the way. I have a towel on. Um, have a shower, have a bath, do something like that. Um, I used to think that that kind of woke me up. But honestly, the last week I've been having a quick shower before I go to bed. And it just really relaxes me and has been helping set me to sleep. I've also been using the room spray or the pillow spray and I know it sounds like something very small but if you have some lavender or something like that just spray it in the room and just the scent is again very relaxing and that's all you're looking for is something very relaxing and then if it comes down to it and none of these are working then maybe look at supplementing your diet with some magnesium 5-HTP there's a number of different ones that people recommended me uh, CBD oil and all these things help to relax you and send you off to the land of not. On that note, because I'm looking at a camera and again activating my brain. So on that note, I'm going to leave you guys here. And I'm going to go and have a nice relaxing sleep. I'm going to get Lex to come and lie with me. If you have a husband or a wife or a partner, go to bed with them because being on the same sleep pattern actually helps to relax you as well and helps to 
put you to sleep. So I'm gonna go get Mr. up to bed so that we can relax and go to sleep and then hopefully get up early tomorrow and start refreshed. Good night, I love you guys. Make sure to like the video. If you have any other suggestions about sleep or if this video has helped you, comment down below. I love hearing your feedback. See you in the next video. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take